Welcome to the Audubon House. Today we'll be talking about one of our beautiful Florida birds, the little blue heron. This small wading bird can be found throughout Florida and the southern United States. It can reach in length up to 29 inches with a wingspan of 41 inches. Little blue herons have long legs and a grayish blue body with a purplish head and neck. Their bills are two-toned with grayish blue at the base. During mating season, their head and neck will change to burgundy to attract a mate. Juvenile little blue herons have dull greenish legs and are white their first year except for dusky tips on their wings. They have the characteristic two-toned bill, same as the adults. Because of their white coloring and size, they are often mistaken for snowy egrets the first year of their life. However, over time, the juvenile's feathers will molt grayish blue. Little blue herons are a common sight in Florida's wetland habitats, such as swamps, marshes, tidal pools, lakes, rivers, and ponds. They forage by walking slowly or standing still with their necks outstretched and their bills pointed downwards. Once prey comes into range, they strike with their piercing sharp bills capturing the prey. They mainly consume small fish, amphibians, crustaceans, and insects. Little blue herons nest in colonies, usually with other wading birds. They build nests in trees or shrubs, usually in islands using sticks as their building material. They lay between three to five eggs with an incubation period of 20 to 24 days. The babies fledge around 28 days after hatching. Like other wading birds, the little blue heron is susceptible to changes in water quality which can contaminate their food supply. This bird continues to face habitat loss, posing grave threats to its population. The North American Water Bird Conservation Plan lists little blue heron as a species of high concern. The little blue heron is protected by the U.S. Migratory Bird Treaty Act and as a state threatened species by Florida's Endangered and Threatened Species Rule. Being aware of these issues and asking our local and state governments to enact policies to improve water quality will not only help the little blue heron, but improve our health as well.